When working with Angular applications, we are bound to come across promises or observables, and binding the data to the component's view is something we do often. In Angular, there's a pipe to help us deal with subscribing and unsubscribing from promises and observables. That is where the async pipe comes in. The async pipe subscribes to an observable or a promise and returns the latest value it has emitted. When a new value is emitted, with the help of the async pipe, the component will be marked to be checked for changes, and if there are any changes, they will be applied. Applied. And the best part about the async pipe is that when the component gets destroyed, the async pipe unsubscribes automatically from the observable and this avoids potential memory leaks. Now let's look at some examples of how we can use the async pipe in Angular with data being pulled from Firebase. So we have a simple app here that lists some posts and it has the post title right here. Uh, this is coming from our cloud Firestore and whenever we create a new post with the title in our Firestore, we're gonna get that new post right here. Since we're gonna be focusing on the async pipe in this video, I won't be covering how to set up Firestore with Angular, that will probably come later in another video but I thought it's good to see an example like this with real-life data let's head over to the async pipe component and create an observable for the post and that's gonna be of type array and it will contain a title and next we will import the angular file store and set the value of the post to the database collection for posts and we'll use value changes which returns an observable of the document data and we can move into the components template and in there we will loop through the posts and use the async pipe the pipe will subscribe to the posts and then when the component is destroyed it will automatically unsubscribe and next we can just show the post title here finally we can call this component and we can run our application as you can see we get a list of our posts right here but we can also head over to firestore and add a new post and as you just saw there our posts have now been updated with our new post and our new title that's all for this one guys hope you enjoyed thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one